Welcome to step three, my friend. Now that you're on a roll, let's keep you moving along. Um, to set up your system here in your eight steps is completely simple, and we walk you by the hand step by step. And it is very easy to do. Nothing complicated. You just follow along with our instructions, and you will have everything set up very quickly. Um, right now, today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to uh, set up your Your 8 Steps campaign in your Now Lifestyle Autoresponder. But one of the things I want to start off showing you first is on the pages, if one of these videos um, you can't see what's in the video and you want to make the videos larger, the easiest way to do this is just click play on a video like I'm going to do right now. When you do that, Usually this is when this YouTube emblem shows up right here in the right corner. So what you do is click on that, and that'll open up the video into YouTube in another tab, and it'll be much larger. And if that's not big enough yet to see exactly what's on the screen, what you can do then is this little broken square here in the right-hand corner. You can go ahead and click on that, and that'll turn it into full screen so you can see it you know, on your whole screen on your computer. That will make it very clear to see so you're able to follow along very easily. Okay, I'm going to close this out. Exit full screen is right here in the bottom right-hand corner. And now that we're exited out of that, we're going to go to step three, actually. And one of the th first things I want you to notice is you may see some video placeholders. And we put these in place so that I could do these videos first and have the screen... Uh, information on here so I can use the instructions as well or anything that's on the page. So you'll see the actual video. You'll be watching this video on step three. So um, in the video, you're just going to see video placeholders on some of the spots when I go through the instructions. I want to start off by saying that building your email list is the most important thing that you can do to have success online. And building an email list consists of, uh, you know, a couple different components. Number one is driving traffic to your squeeze page or opt-in pages with an offer on it so that they get on your list. And then following up and following through with the people on your list. That's what email marketing is, is, you know, following through with the people on your list. And that's why it is so um, critical to your success is because you will make all of your money in the follow-up process. And a lot of people do not understand that. My first two and a half years online, I made nothing because I was not building my email list. Once I started building my email list, that's eventually what led to me being free and me being here 14 years later, um, still doing internet marketing very successfully and absolutely loving it. So let's go ahead and start. So once you, you, already, you already are obviously logged into your eight steps, what you'll need to do next is log into Now Lifestyle. And once you do that, you'll land on your dashboard. And I'm going to stop this video? video right here. But once you're on your dashboard, what you want to do is the first thing is you'll see your name up here next to a round circle that represents an uh, icon of a person. You want to click on this little drop down menu and click on edit your account. Because the first thing we're going to do is we're going to scroll down here on this page now and we're going to put in your street, your city, your state, and your country, your postal address, because under can spam laws anybody that does email marketing or lead generation must have their address, their postal address in place um, to be, um, you know, in cam spam compliancy, you know, compliant. Uh, so that's what we want to do first. So you want to put in your street, your city, your state, and your country. And then you want to scroll down once you have that typed into the very bottom here. And you want to type in your current password. So I'm just going to do that. I already have my details in place up here and then all you do is click on update and then all you want to make sure is when you scroll down it has saved them okay uh, now we're going to move on to creating the actual autoresponder campaign and then doing this part this will connect 
some done for you squeeze pages that we have created for you in your eight steps here down at the bottom you'll see your done for you squeeze pages the links to them we're gonna pop in a code we're gonna create um, the campaign and once we do that inside now lifestyle we're gonna create a form and that form code we're gonna put in this box and that will connect these pages below these links of yours that will help you to build your email list will connect it to your now lifestyle autoresponder so let's begin we'll go to reseller tools in this tab at the top then it'll open up a left hand menu over here and what we want to click on is lead capture system and now that we're on this page you'll see that it opened up some tabs here what we want to click on is autoresponder and then once we've clicked on the autoresponder we want to um, go to the left hand menu here and you'll see campaigns and another little drop down arrow we want to click on that and we want to click on add campaign then scroll down underneath the video and you'll see campaign name what you want to put in here is your eight steps uh, description you want to just type in here your eight steps marketing system then what you want to do is put in your name and I'm gonna put Richard and John Weaver because me and my partner are me and my son are partners and you want to enter an email address here for the reply to and the notification email address and what you want to use if you have your own domain and an email address already set up on your own domain you want to use that and if you don't then I suggest using a Gmail email address and if you don't have a Gmail email address you can go to gmail.com and set one up in literally minutes and I recommend having a Gmail account or some email address dedicated to your marketing with now lifestyle so you get all your notifications and everything in one email address and use it for marketing purposes um, so it doesn't get intertwined with your personal emails or your work emails from your job if you have one but I recommend Gmail and you can have multiple if you already have a Gmail account Gmail allows you to set up multiple accounts so that's not a problem then over in this box to the right what we want to put is the company name we'll just put in here for that year eight steps and then website URL. where we're going to get that from is we're going to go to your eight steps and underneath in step three the second video is an email that I am going to show you how to add in that second video uh, how to add your first follow-up email to your um, your eight steps campaign but for now what we're gonna do is scroll down and we're gonna copy your your eight steps affiliate link out of here so just take your mouse cursor and put the click right at the end of the um, affiliate ID and scroll across it drag and hold your mouse across it left click and then right click on it and click on copy otherwise you can use keyboard shortcuts shortcuts of uh, control C for copy and control V for paste and we're going to bring that now to now lifestyle and we're going to put this in this website URL box right here paste that in scroll over make sure there's no spaces before the H and there's not and now well all we're going to do is check this notify about new subscriber and right here the unsubscribe text activation text there's nothing we need to put in there and we need to click on create okay now what happened is we just created your your eight steps campaign and what we're gonna do for the next part is we're gonna create your form we're gonna get your form code from there so in the left hand menu now what you want to do is scroll down till you see the word forms here and click on this little drop down arrow and then click on create form on this page we want to scroll down and in this campaign box here I'm gonna show you um, I'm not gonna show you I I have multiple campaigns in here already because me and Johnny have set up some for now lifestyle you probably won't have that unless you've already set up some other campaigns for not in your now lifestyle autoresponder if not you're just gonna see your your eight steps one 
And I got to switch mine to that to make sure we're working on that campaign. And like I said, that's probably the only one you will have back here. Now, the form name, what I want you to do is name this your eight steps one. So that you identify this form with this campaign. Because in the future sometime, you may set up other forms for other things, or you may set up a new campaign uh, that you've created yourself, or you've became more experienced and you've had some pages created for you and you tie them into um, your, your eight steps campaign or one of your now lifestyle campaigns and you will create another form for that. But this will help you to identify this later that this is the one you put in your eight steps. So that's why we put the form name. Then the thank you page, what we want to do is this drop down menu again. We want to click on that arrow and we want to click on custom mural. And then what we want to do is go back to your eight steps and again copy this affiliate link in that first follow-up email that I'm going to show you how in the next video to put in your autoresponder. So click on copy, go back to Now Lifestyle, and put this link in there. And when you put this link in there, make sure that you use your arrow over key and go all the way over to the left and make sure there's no extra space before the H and there isn't. And again, already subscribe thank you page, paste that in here as well. Okay, we have that set up. Now this ad tracking box, there's nothing to put in there. Pass form data, do not check that. Double opt-in, do not check that. And the other thing we're going to do is we're going to come down here and you can see this little dot in this circle and we're going to change that. We're going to go to the second circle below it and we're going to put a dot in there and then we're going to put full name visible and required here. So this is what should be checked. And then um, this box here, we don't need to do nothing. And the submit text, we just leave it as submit. And we scroll down here and just making sure everything else is up here is right and all filled in and it is. And we just click on add. There, you've created your first form code and the form code will be displayed down here for all your forms and your campaigns to see them. There's that drop down uh, arrow here that can bring you to a different campaign. Like I said, if you ever set up a different one or you have a different form for something, but for right now we're just concentrating on your eight steps. So then across here in the bottom, you see the campaign form code name, and then we're gonna go all the way over here to the right and you'll see under actions that you have a couple of what I like to call radial dials and if you hover your mouse cursor over any one you'll see the functions of them preview edit HTML and this HTML one here the third one this is the one we want to uh, grab so what I want you to do is click on this one and a box is gonna pop up and we want to you can make it bigger by clicking on the square and that'll make it bigger and you can, what I want you to do is drag your mouse cursor over this, highlight it, and copy this entire code. Make sure you have the whole thing copied. You're not dropping off one of these uh, uh, arrow looking icons from it. You got the whole code copy. Okay, then we'll minimize that. We'll go back to your eight steps. And all you need to do is in this box here under the first video on step three here is you want to copy and paste that code into this box. So if there's something already in here, if Brenda has put a placeholder in here or something, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure if she has for what you'll be seeing, but it probably will be a blank box. So you won't have to delete anything there or paste over anything. It'll just be blank. All you'll do is copy um, your form code from the HTML that we clicked on to get the, the form code. You copy that and you bring it on over here and you paste it in here. And the only thing I always look for to make sure I did that right is I look to make sure that me and John's username is in here in the form code, yours should be too, whatever your username is for now lifestyle. And it should look similar to this where there's an NLS after it. And once you have done that and you know that it's in there, all you have to do is click on update your eight steps autoresponder code. And now that code is in place, it is saved. You can see your username in there again just like here, me and John's, and that is all set up. You now have your autoresponder and your eight steps connected. And I will explain 
what that means in the next vid video a little more in depth, but just realize that's how all these squeeze pages down here are any squeeze pages, otherwise known as opt-in pages or lead capture pages. All these pages are now connected to your Now Lifestyle autoresponder because what our script does behind the screens is it takes this code and puts it into these pages for you. And then the other thing you can do at this time um, before you watch the second video is please go ahead and upload your current picture here. And what that does is anywhere throughout the site that we use your photo or on a squeeze page, use your photo so that it shows up that way your photo will show up so all you do is browse your computer find the image you want to use of yourself and then click upload and you'll have it here saved for your use um, other than that my friends excited for you to have your first campaign set up and in the next video I'm going to show you how to add your first follow-up email and we will just keep moving on one step at a time you know if you had to pause this video or watch it again to complete the step, no big deal. Don't worry about it. I want you to just take this one step at a time, and I'm making it as dead easy to follow as humanly possible. Anybody can do this and set up this process, and you'll be off building your list before you know it. Um, other than that, we will see you on the next video, my friend. Have a great day.